today what we're behind me is an aspen stand and we're looking at it today because one of the first projects that I worked on with Jim was doing this aspen clear cut. So behind me 25 years ago roughly Jim and I are trying to remember this area was clear cut and what we mean by clear cut is every stem was cut right down so there were no stems left remaining. The reason we did that is for managing for aspen it's a tree that is very shade intolerant. In order for aspen to grow it needs full sunlight. So that was the reason for the clear cut. And as you're looking at this 25 year old stand you can see that clear cutting isn't the end of the world. In fact it's uh, basically called even age management because all the trees behind Jim and I are all the same age. They all sprouted up. Aspen to regenerate most often resprouts from the root system. So all these trees uh, resprouted from the existing root system and taken off. And uh, after resprouting, there was probably about eight to ten thousand stems per acre. Uh, some of the benefits for doing this is eventually these trees will get large enough and they'll be harvested again for pulp wood to go to the paper mill. But in the meantime, within the first ten to fifteen years, they made excellent rough grouse habitat. The reason that uh, rough grouse like them, they do eat the buds of the aspen trees and also uh, rough grouse when they're walking on the forest floor have a tendency not to look up. And when the young aspen comes up and it's real thick, hawks and owls have a very difficult time flying down on the rough grouse in the real thick cover uh, to try and catch them. So it's a food source and it's a safety net source for the rough grouse. As Jim and I uh, over the years watch as the stands develop, uh, Jim has a few comments on the left side here, which is also part of the aspen clear cut. We did take all the aspen out, but we left some of these other hardwood stems in here. And uh, Jim can give you his comments on what he thought he did right, what he thought he might change the next time he does this. On the ones over here to the right, I was kind of cautious and I held back on cutting a hardwood out completely and if you notice it's the trees are suppressed in here so when they talk about a clear cut they want everything cut and it's better off for the next sprouting of trees and some of the things that Jim did even though he some of the soft maple we left behind because of Jim's concerns there also are some species in here such as red oak. And again, Jim talked earlier about wanting the red oak for wildlife. This particular tree is a red oak. And uh, this, is, this was a good call on Jim's part not to harvest this tree. Because again, he talked about liking wildlife, wanting the seed source, difficulty in regenerating it. And even though it did suppress some of the aspen trees around this one, leaving it for wildlife was a good call on Jim's part. To my left is a sugar maple tree and that's one Jim probably should have harvested. We're getting a little bit of uh, up in here bird peck issues and that's where sap suckers and woodpeckers uh, find something desirable in that tree to go after and after they leave their holes from pecking on it it'll leave a dark uh, black stain in the maple lumber so it degrades the tree. So uh, that, that particular maple has a few issues. It's a relatively healthy tree, but the lumber value has been compromised due to the bird peck. Uh, 